Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. We're starting off this week's Around the House video, which is our version of a weekly vlog, with something we've showed before. Uh, I don't know why I did this again. I think I had a inst my Instant Pot out and I wanted to try it one more time. I tried to make steel cut oats in the Instant Pot. I can leave the recipe on our website if anyone is interested. They come out a little soupy. Uh, the longer they sit, the better they do, but I'm about convinced not everything is better in an Instant Pot. I think I prefer these in the crock pot. What's that? It's going to be a stand so I can put my planer on it and I don't have to reach down to the floor. Because your back? Because my back. That I'm lazy. Is your, you're not lazy. Is your back hurting, no, sweetheart? No. Are you fixing to turn that on? Shortly. Well, then I guess I need to go inside. Always building something. We got a package delivered. And we have a front, really big front porch that has a nice little hiding spot here. A nice little hiding spot here and a nice little hiding spot here. And we have one carrier, FedEx, that leaves our package like this, which is fine. I'm glad that we can see it, but I also worry that someone else is gonna see it and help themselves to it. So they don't hide it up here by the door or behind the sign or in my favorite little nook hiding spot, but that's okay. My latest Sam's Club package is here. And I also meant to show y'all what little we do for St. Patrick's. This is it. Two shamrocks on the front door and a little sign. We're not big St. Patty's Day people. So that's pretty much it. These will be down and everything going up for Easter soon. By the time you see this, the St. Patrick's Day will be over. So they'll already be down. And since spring has just about sprung around here, it's time to put up my winter dishes. It always makes me kind of sad, but I do pull them out around Thanksgiving and we use them all throughout Thanksgiving. Christmas and until around our anniversary or spring break. Uh, several years ago, I got this china cabinet for my dining room and I love being able to store my winter dishes in here. It makes it a lot easier than storing them in the attic, which is what we used to do before. What did you build, Tim? It is a planter stand and it can be mobile. How was that? So what is this called? It is a caster, but it's a workbench caster. It's a lift, it lifts it up. It will lift it. And then there's wheels on the other side. Isn't that something? Makes it a little easier, but when you let it down, it's it locks, in locks into place. Isn't that something? So you just lift up on it. I've never seen anything like that before. And there you go. You're always building something. What are you going to build now? Another one? That weighs 200 and something pounds. I'm so going to build one <laughs> that makes it mobile as well. So you're going to build a movable stand for it? Yes. Smart. You work smarter, not harder, don't you? Yeah, especially with a sore back. <laughs> In January, we cut back most of the shrubs and things around here. That's the miscanthus, and these are my roses. Someone had asked to show whether they were growing or not. So we're gonna do some periodic updates in the next couple of Around the House videos showing you that yes, thankfully, everything is starting to grow back. I just finished unloading the dishwasher. I think I'm gonna run a cleaning cycle. I have showed this before in a previous video and we will I will leave a link to it in an iCard above. Our particular model has a trap that goes in here that collects dust and dirt, not dust, but collects debris and dirt. I took the trap out, cleaned it in the sink really well. I'm gonna take a cup of just plain vinegar and put it in a glass Pyrex, put it on my top shelf and run a cycle and clean my dishwasher today. It's something we've showed in the past, something I probably need to do more often, but I actually rinse most of my dishes really well before I put them in so our trap does not collect a whole lot of debris and food, but we're cleaning the dishwasher today around here. We got a delivery the other day from the nice people at Omork. We have a caloric 3.2 quart air fryer that we purchased, which you'll see in a video I'll leave a link for that we've had a little bit of an issue with. In the meantime, we were researching new air fryers and going to purchase a Ninja, 
but the Omork people contacted us and asked if we would like to try out their air fryer. So it's here and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and see if we can do some comparisons with the one we've got. I know this one's bigger. So let's see what this one looks like. It's packaged well. It's got a little nice size user manual and a nice size recipe book. So let me get it out and see what it says to do. Probably wash it first. It does have a cord storage on the back, which is nice to wrap the cord around. Not all of them have that. I have washed it with hot soapy water. It says to plug it in to an earth wall socket. Apparently this one needs to be preheated. We're gonna push, press the push button, rotate the knob to the left to reduce the time to three minutes. Press the push button again to start the preheating process. And then when the time to zero, not sure this was written by someone who speaks English as a primary language. We're going to try some frozen french fries and then some shrimp. I'm gonna put these in first at 400 and check them about eight or 10 minutes in. And then these I think are gonna go in at a lesser temperature for a much less amount of time, but we should be able to get them all in this basket since it's a 5.8 quart. It's so a side-by-side -side comparison of two different brands and sizes of air fryers. That's my hand. This is an Omork. I think it's a 5.8 quart. This is a Caloric 3.2 quart. Both basket styles and that is the difference in baskets. There's my hand in my hand. This one is substantially larger as far as countertop space goes, but the basket is much larger, which is nice. And here's the fried shrimp and the crinkle cut fries that we did in the Omork air fryer. They came out really good once we added the additional three minutes back since I forgot to preheat it. We don't have any experience with an air fryer oven, but we now have tried two different sizes of basket style air fryers. The smaller one does cook a little faster, so you might need to adjust. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel. Let's cook y'all. Hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Have a wonderful and truly blessed day, y'all. See you in the next video.